Welcome to the DMARC video series. My name is Shazad Mirza. I'm the Director of Operations for Global Cyber Alliance. In this video, we are going to focus on Salesforce and how we can get Salesforce to work and send email on your behalf, even though a DMARC policy is in place. So now the nice thing is, is that when you have your DMARC level or even at the highest level, you do not have to make any adjustments to the DMARC policy. So there's nothing in the policy itself that you're gonna say anything about Salesforce. What you're gonna actually do is adjust two other records that you have. Uh, one is going to be sender policy framework, which you're going to add in and say that Salesforce is allowed to send on your behalf. That's assuming you don't already have a record in place. And the other one is that you're gonna probably need to create a DKIM key in order to be able to sign any messages that are your sent, that Salesforce is going to send for you. So that way Salesforce is doing the signing of those messages on your behalf, especially the ones that are being sent through its own servers. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead, in this case, update our SPF record because because we already have one in existence for the gotdmarket.org domain. So now the nice thing about Salesforce is, is that in the help feature, it does actually have uh, an area about SPF and what the SP Salesforce SPF record is and what you need to do in order to, to either create an SPF record on your end or add to your SPF record if you already have one that's created. So it provides you with all that type of information. So for us, and the key point is, is that we need to just take the part that we need because there's already an SPF record that's created for the gotdmark.org domain. So we look at, we're going to look at the line that they have for their sample. In their sample, they have the SPF, they have their MX, so saying your own mail servers, and then include colon underscore SPF dot salesforce dot com. So like it says above, it says please only use this as there is our variety of SPF records for Salesforce salesforce.domain they're all within this type of record so what we're going to do is just copy this section right here because that's all we're going to need so i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to go into godaddy what we're using for our dns provider and in here we already have an spf record created so when i scroll down a little bit here is the spf record that's already in place so what i'm going to do is go ahead and edit this record and then add in what I need to add for Salesforce. So what I'm gonna do is actually go towards the end. So this way I'm just keeping a nice record of where the information is. I'm gonna add it after the previous include and make sure there's a space, then add this in and then put a space in here because there still needs to be a space between this new portion and the dash all. So now at this point here is we've added Salesforce and now once I hit save, we're going to say that Salesforce is now approved to send messages on behalf of gotdmark.org. So that's what we have right here with our new record. <clears throat> so that's how easy it is just to update SPF. So the next step is, is that we're going to still say that we're going to use Salesforce and let Salesforce send messages for us through their own servers instead of relaying it through our servers because you do have that option as well. But since we're going to say we're doing it through their servers, that means that we need them to do DKIM. So they need to add the DKIM signature for us. So the nice thing is, is that Salesforce does have built-in DKIM capabilities. So now we're just going to go to the Salesforce main page. So I've already logged in and then we're on the home page for my account. Now you do have to have administrative level privileges in order to be able to set this up and configure this. So if you're not the admin, make sure you get with the Salesforce admin and have them follow these steps for you. So now what we're gonna do here is in the top right hand corner, we're gonna go to the setup. So that gear icon that's here, you're just gonna go ahead and click on this and then choose setup. This will open up a new window. <clears throat> and in this window, as this loads, on the left hand side, there will be various options for us. And we're gonna focus on email under administration when we expand email salesforce doing things nice and simple and making this easy it's just going to go to dkim keys and now we have our area where we can manage dkim keys now you can use a third-party vendor or some other location to create the keys for you so you can if you have one already you can always import the key into here into here and have salesforce start using that key now in this case though we're going to show you how to create a brand new key using salesforce so we just click on create new key. Now here, this is where we can define everything that we need in order to create that key. The first thing we need is a selector. 
What the selector is, is going to be the name of the key. And this is also going to be the name that you're going to use for when you create an, uh, the DKIM key in DNS. So now the selector can, name can be anything that you would like it to be. I don't recommend making it any too, anything too complex. Don't make it too long. Keep it nice and simple. So for now, we're just going to go with default. Default is one of the most common ones, so you may want to use something that's more unique to your organization or to what something that you will know. Because the I mean, so it's not too easy to find this record when somebody's trying to do a lookup or a standard lookup. Now the domain we're applying this to is going to be gotdmark.org. So that's the domain. So you have to make sure you put in the actual domain you want to apply this key for. It cannot be a wildcard. It has to be the actual specific domain. So gotdmark.org is what we're focusing on here. Now under domain matches, you're going to say is what will this DKIM apply to? Will it apply to the exact domain? So meaning what you have written up top in the second box. The subdomains of this domain only. So if you have like sales gotdmark.org or m.gotdmark.org, those would be subdomains. So this, this key only applies to them and not to the gotdmark.org domain or the exact domain and the subdomains. So in this case, gotdmark.org does not have any subdomains whatsoever, so we're going to use exact domain only. So at this point now, all we have to do is click on save. What it's going to go through now is going to generate the key for you. It's going to give you your selector name, your domain name, the domain match, so all those options that you selected before, and say, here's your public key, and here is your private key. So now in this case, I don't care the private key. You can see it. It's written all there. But we're not actually going to be using this key because this key, and because gotdmark.org is not actually really used to be sending mail. So this is just as an example of how to set this up. So what the important part is, is that we do need to have the information from the public key. So I'm just going to copy this for right now. May have to come back to copy it a little bit later, um, but make sure that we have this copied. So now I'm just going to click on activate. It's going to say, hey, once you do this, Salesforce was going to do, is going to sign the mails for this domain from now on. So that's, again, only if you're using Salesforce to send mail. So you click on OK. Now there's the key. The key is activated and the key is generated at this point and it is able to be used. So now, what do we need to do next? So, because now this is here, but we have to make sure that we have something in DNS to allow for people and recipients to be able to check against. So the private key is stored in Salesforce. Public key has to be put into your public DNS, so that way when the recipient receives the message, they have something to check against, to check the DKIM signature against, to make sure that it is actually accurate and correct. So this is where we would go again now into your domain manager for DNS. So again, this is GoDaddy. We're going to create a new record. Now, in case you don't know how to create a DKIM key or a DKIM DNS record, we have that capability with our DMARC guide. So if you go to dmarcguide.globalcyberalliance.org, this is where you can go and start the process for how to create that actual record. So in this case, it says we have SPF for got DMARC and we have uh, DMARC enabled, then we're at the highest level. But DKIM, it couldn't find. There's actually DKIM enabled using it for other tools, but in this case, we'll say, okay, it's, it's not. So we click on DKIM, scroll down, and then click on Next. And this will start the DKIM tutorial to help you define how to create your DKIM record. So we'll click on Next, and here, so we actually use default for the name, so this is fine. So, but we do give options in terms of other selector names that you can use if you choose to. These are the ones that are the most commonly used. Uh, even if it's not on the list, just pick one from the list and then I'll tell you what you need to change afterwards. So you just press next and then at the top here, this is where you're actually going to paste in your public key. So this is what we're taking again from Salesforce from that section that said public key. We press next and now this is what your, D your DKIM TXT record is going to look like. So now when I was mentioning before in terms of selector names, so you'll see here with this portion that I've highlighted, default is the selector name. So if it was not on the list and you just picked one, just replace what you actually use for your selector and replace it with what, you, what the selector section in this, in this area. So now what we're going to do is go back to our GoDaddy tab here and we're going to create that TXT record. So we'll click on Add, go to TXT, because again, in this case, it's going to be a TXT record. So our record again, so our selector name is default, so we can actually take the information from right here. 
So we only need this portion here. We don't need the actual domain name because GoDaddy automatically adds the domain name for you at the end. The text value is going to be the information you see here within quotes. So the version is dkim1, it's using RSA for the key, and then again, here is the public key. That's again copied from Salesforce. So we go back here in txt value, we're gonna go ahead and paste it, and then click on save. And now we have our domain key for Salesforce. So this is what we have and this everything and now this is active, everything is set up and now at this point is ready to go. So what you can always do is you can test deliverability by send, sending the messages through here as well. Uh, those are you know, some things that you can do if you choose to. Um, and that way just to make sure that everything is correct and everything is set up accordingly and appropriately. Other things that you're gonna to want to do is make sure that things are set up correctly is you can go to activations and then under activations, you can check to see and make sure that the domains and everything is set up correctly um, and there are no issues uh, with that's, that's going on um, with everything within here. So those are things that you can do in terms of making sure everything is set up correctly and that domain keys is set up correctly. Now the other thing is, is that you do not have to use Salesforce to send mail. Um, so you don't have to necessarily set up the DKIM or set it and, and enable it within here. What you can always do is you can go to email relay activation and then in here define where you could actually relay mail through. So as long as you know this information that, that you're going to set up, then this is where you can put in the information and then that's how the information and how everything is going to be set up. So those are your actually your options when you're setting up uh, SPF, DKIM, or if you wanted to re uh, send your messages through the relay, you can do so in this way. So at this point, at any point, you can always deactivate the key if you no longer choose to use it. You just click on edit and then there, uh, you can always go back and edit and you can always cancel or delete your keys from here as well. It's not giving me the, it's giving me the option for some reason here, but uh, this is where you can actually go in and actually make the changes, make the adjustments. Oh, sorry, here it is. It's, you click on deactivate. Be sure you want to deactivate it. We're going to click on OK. Once we deactivate it, then you're going to get the option to be able to delete the DKIM key. And now we can go ahead and delete it. And therefore, it no longer exists. But those are the options that you have. Just make sure once you do, do, you do delete it from here, make sure you do go into your DNS and delete the key as well from here. So that way, there's no issues and no problems when it comes to the future. So those are the things you can do with Salesforce and how you're creating and adding to SPF and then how you can create your DKIM keys and the options that you have when it comes to DKIM as well. Thank you for joining us. And if you do have any questions, feel free to email us at either one of the addresses that are, are present on the screen. Thank you.